Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use UI switch uh, in your mobile application um, with Swift language. So I'm going to create single view uh, application. I'll call it my UI switch example. Uh, make sure language is Swift. Next, create. Okay, my project is created. I'll go straight to the uh, main storyboard, resize my view controller to 4 inch, uh, and will hide my uh, left, left panel. Okay, so um, I will need two UI elements. I will need UI switch. So in my objects library, I will search for switch. And to display the state of this switch, whether it's on, on, or, or off, I will use UI label. Okay, I'll make it full width, align to the center, and I will actually uh, reset constraints to suggest it. Okay. Um, uh, to make UI switch and label work together, we need to connect, uh, we need to create outlet. And I will uh, open my assistant editor by tapping on this button and it will load up the view controller um, responsible for this UI view. Okay, I will leave a little space here and let uh, click, control, drag and drop to create an outlet for this UI switch. I will call it my switch switch connect and just the same way I will connect my label my label now I need to create another connection uh, for the UI switch and um, it's going to be uh, of um, action type so connection type is action and I will call it my switch tapped and it creates a function and basically the code in this function will be triggered every time when uh, you tap on this switch um, okay so uh, let's assume you tap on the switch uh, the, the function triggers and here I will access my label I'll access my label to change its text and um, I will change the text to the state of the switch is and I will access my switch on. So this on will return a boolean value which will be true or false and will basically tell us whether the switch is uh, on and or off. So let me run this um, example. Okay, so uh, we have switch and we have label and if I tap on my switch the text is changed to the state of the switch is false. And when you tap on it again, the change of the state is true. Now notice uh, when, uh, when this view loaded, the UI switch was on. What if I want uh, it to start in a different state? So I can change the default state uh, to, uh, from on to off. So I will uh, select the switch and I will go to Attributes Inspector and I'll change its state from on to off. So now, when my example, when when uh, my example will start up, it will start with the switch in a different state. It's off. Now notice that this label is also kind of not nice. I want to change that. And basically, what I want to do, uh, I want to um, execute this um, script as soon as my view is loaded here so uh, to do that I will create a new function uh, function and I will call it update 
my switch state and I will put this code here and I will call this function as soon as view is loaded and also when the switch is stopped and you tap on the switch and now when I start it I, I get a, a better a better um, uh, view of the label this switch is false and the switch is true now I will change this false and true to uh, a more user-friendly uh, uh, state as well so because uh, this var on will return a boolean value true or false I can use it in if statement so I'll say if my switch is on else so if it is on I can take this and actually assign it a different text I'll say it is on and else and for else I'll say my switch state is off the state of the switch is off and I'll stop it and start again okay now I have a better uh, visual for this label uh, so um, it started and it's off and I tap on it it's on so by default it is off now let's me let me stop and change the state of this switch to on so by the, when it starts up now it should be on I start my mobile app And I see that the state is on right away and if I tap on it it's off and I tap on it again it's on this is it uh, I hope this was uh, a useful uh, video and example for you um, if it doesn't work for some reason for you please comment and I'll help you out thank you very much